Now we are going to animate the spaceship in a more complex fashion so that the ship enters the hangar and lands more smoothly on the landing platform. Select File Open Scene, then in the Open Dialog, navigate to the Chapter 9 subdirectory and click the Chapter 9 Path Animation 01 file. Click Open to open the file. If you're presented with a warning dialog to save a scene, click Don't Save. In this scene, the camera view is looking from the inside of the hangar towards the hangar bay doors. In order to make it easier to select the objects we need, click the Window Menu option and open the Outliner. We're going to assign our little spaceship object to the landing path curve that has already been created. Then use the curve as an animation path for the spaceship. In the Outliner, select the little spaceship object. Then hold the Control key down and select the Landing Path object. Make sure the menu is set to the Animation menu. If it's not, select the Animation option from the Menu Selection drop-down. In the Main menu, select Animate Motion Paths. Then next to Attach to Motion Path, click the Options box to open the Attach to Motion Path Options dialog. In the Attach to Motion Path Options dialog box, we want to set the time range to the Start End option. We'll leave the start time at frame 1, but we want to set the end time to frame 700, so type 700 in the Type In box and then press Enter. This sets the end of our animation to frame 700. Now make sure that the Parametric Length option is unchecked and that the Follow option is unchecked. This will ensure that the spaceship is moving on the path at a constant rate over the 700 frames, without changing its direction or orientation based on the path direction. Click the Attach button at the bottom left of the dialog to close the dialog and attach the spaceship to the path. Right-click in the Interior Cam viewport, then click Play to play the animation back. You'll notice as the animation plays that the hangar bay doors automatically open. This is because we have set driven keys on the hangar bay doors that cause the doors to open and close based on the Z location of the spacecraft. Keep in mind that the path you use must contain only one curve. You'll notice that it is also much easier to create an animation that moves in a way that would be more difficult to keyframe. If we want to keyframe this animation, we would have to have many different keyframes and be able to adjust all of them to accomplish what path animation does in just a few clicks. Press Ctrl S to save the file. 